It's great to see you again, Mr. Edwards. It's great to see you too, Doctor. So I wanted to talk a little bit about your diabetes today. Mm -hmm. So your diabetes control is good, almost too good. Too good? I didn't know it was possible to be too good. <laughs> well, like most things, we want your blood sugar to be not too high, not too low, but just right. And your latest tests suggest that your sugars may be getting a little too low. So that A1C test that we do once or twice a year came mm -hmm. back at 6.8%, which mm -hmm. is getting low. And then clinic, when we checked your finger stick, that was 72. Now, that's not dangerously low, but it's getting there and makes me a little worried. Well, you've talked to me many times about my blood sugar being too high, but we haven't talked about it being too low. Well, what's going on? So remember that time several months ago when you fell and broke your arm and had to go to the hospital? I definitely don't want to have to go through that again. Boy, and I certainly don't want you to have to go through that again either. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to wonder whether that was because your sugars were too low. Now they checked your sugars in the hospital and it was okay at that time, but it's definitely possible that your sugars were low at home and that's what led you to be dizzy and unsteady and caused the fall. Question for you. For the longest time, you've been telling me that you want to keep my uh, blood sugar below 7%. Isn't 6.8% uh, on my A1C good enough now? That's a great question. So in general, we recommend lower blood sugars for younger adults than older adults. Mm -hmm. And the reason is that older adults have more problems with low sugar than younger adults. Mm -hmm. So for example, when an older adult falls, they're more likely to break their bones and end up in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And so the risk of low sugars is much higher for older adults than younger adults. Okay, that, that makes sense. The other side of the equation is that the benefits or the good effects of low sugars are much more likely in younger adults. And so we know from studies that well-controlled sugars decrease the risk of kidney or eye problems. The thing is, it takes 10 years of well-controlled sugars for us to see those benefits. For most older adults, the idea of having less kidney trouble in 10 years is not a great reason for low sugars right now. Okay. So let's talk about what all of this means for you. So when you were younger, your bones were strong, your reflexes were good, so that even if your sugars got a little low, I thought you could handle it. But now you're a little bit older <laughs> and you're slowed down a little bit so that I worry that the risks of low sugars are much higher for you. So overall, I just don't think it makes that much sense given that the benefits take so long to be seen. But isn't it still important to protect my kidneys and my eyes? Absolutely. And that's why we're going to do everything else that we can to protect those organs, like controlling your blood pressure really, really well. But overall, keeping your sugar this low I think it's more likely to hurt you than help you. Well, okay. I can't argue with stopping something that's more likely to hurt me than to help me. 